This stitch story is kind of on the countdown, countdown to the number of live public days we've got available for you to add your stitches. And the very, 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 very last opportunity you have to add your stitch will be at Morrison's in Tewkesbury from 11 o'clock till 3 o'clock on the 7th of May. And after that, that's it. No more because Joe and the dedicated team of stitchers are going to be stitching all of the 10 panels together to make this really long embroidery. And if you would like to come and see the unveiling of the embroidery, get yourself down to the Watson Hall on the 21st of May and there you will see it all presented as one entire piece of work. So the 10 panels will be stitched together and all of the border pieces will surround the embroidery. And up to press, I think we had 130 border pieces to figure out how to make um, this really lovely finish to the design. And um, you will get to see it if you get to come along to the Watson Hall on the 21st. The 21st in Tewkesbury is the weekend of the big weekend and there's all sorts of things going on in town which should make for a really good atmosphere. This past week we've been to Cottiswold Dairy, we've been to Moog, we've been into businesses because we thought it was really important to take the embroidery into businesses where sometimes people can't get time off work to come into the community and take part in this big project and it's been really important to sort of take the embroidery to people where they are. You'll also notice that on one of the panels there's this beautiful water tower. Now on my hill there's this red bricked water tower which is a fascinating building. I've always wondered what it's like inside and in fact what the view is like on top. Well the other day Julie, the owner of the water tower, invited us in. And then you sent me a lovely email um, showing me a picture of your house <laughs> <laughs> and, and you came along to one of the library sessions first of all wasn't it? I did I yeah. Think. Well I saw the poster in the window of one of the art shops in, in Tewkesbury um, saying stitch story you know be part of the community project and I've been in the Embroiderers Guild for over 25 years so it just seemed like a great way to to get to meet people because mm. I don't really know anyone here and I, and I need to you know I'd like to be part of the community Mm. Um, and so it was just an ideal opportunity to, to do what I love and also get to meet loads of people as well and I've, it's been great, I've really enjoyed it. So I think a, you, you've been one of our extreme stitches with this, the <laughs> highest one in Tewkesbury but also the coldest. Here I am stitching on a hill in Norway. We were lucky that it snowed overnight and so we did a run that we hadn't done earlier in the week and nobody else was there so I was literally able to stop right in the middle of the run and stitch which you wouldn't normally do because that's quite dangerous <laughs> but there was no one else there except the four of us you know um, I feel very privileged to, to live here I've worked hard for many years I've been away working for many years so my husband and I have had to put up with the hardships of that but yeah. I feel like now it's paid off and I get to kind of look at this and look after it for the next you know people whoever they are so.